Learning piano is a rewarding and exciting experience. And piano teachers tell us that to learn piano properly, you need to have a fine instrument. A serious musician will choose a grand piano for their career or to really just inspire them to practice. However, not everyone has the room or the resources to have a grand piano at home. So we'd like to show you some exciting alternatives to learning piano and keyboard. A small portable keyboard can be a great way to test the water and start learning the notes and developing some musical expression. It's important to start with something about this size, like this beautiful Yamaha portable keyboard with 61 touch sensitive keys. This is what they call a five octave keyboard. To really start developing some skill on an instrument, an instrument like this, a Yamaha digital piano, which is called the Yamaha Clavinova, will take you much further. This has 88 keys and they're fully weighted keys with mechanical moving hammers. So you can really develop a reliable technique and because it's got all the keys of a grand piano, you can learn to read all the notes because you can practice all the notes. You can also play with headphones, so you can play at night or you can play without disturbing the rest of the family. A lovely thing about this instrument is that you can also record what you play and save it onto a USB stick so that you can then transfer your, record your recordings onto the hard drive of your computer. If you've got children, you can make a library of their piano practice and their piano development as they grow older. I'm sitting here at one of Yamaha's new exciting products called a hybrid piano, which is called the NU1X Avant Grand Series. And it's called this because it's a cross between a real piano action, which is contained within, but it does not have any string, nor does it have felts. It uses optical sensors to trigger the sound. And sampled grand piano sounds are possible on this instrument. So it has the real feel of a piano without the maintenance, plus the beauty of headphone option, Bluetooth and recording features. These are becoming very, very popular now for the person who wants a mixture of both. Beautiful piano sound, but also no maintenance involved in terms of tuning regularly like we would on a normal acoustic or grand piano. As I said earlier on, the grand piano is the ultimate instrument for learning piano. But a really high quality upright piano can be very close to playing a grand piano. With a grand piano, you've got an even better keyboard action and even more advanced pedal functions. But the good thing about a good quality upright piano is that you've got beautiful wooden keys and a lovely feeling keyboard, so you can really develop a reliable touch. You can choose a standard acoustic piano or a silent piano, which is a hybrid, which is a combination of an acoustic piano and a digital piano, or a transacoustic piano which uses the entire soundboard as a loudspeaker so that you can play the sounds of violins, you can play pipe organs, you can play strings, choirs, all coming through the sound of your, uh, your speakers, which are actually uh, a wooden speaker, which is your soundboard of your piano, so that you can actually have the sound of the acoustic piano with the sound of other instruments. I'm sitting here at Yamaha's ensemble piano called the CVP series. The CVP series differs from the CLP series as it offers full rhythm accompaniment to back up what you're playing, as well as that it has a myriad of sounds built in to recreate full keyboard effects from full string orchestras to solo saxophones, plus full rhythm backing and recording features. So visit prestigepianos.com.au to see our range or come and see us at the store and we'll help you to select the right instrument for you. Mm -hmm.